Welcome back. Our next guest is known as Ireland's leading country singer with chart-topping hits and sold-out shows. At age 27, with three number one albums, he's also been named as the best entertainer in Ireland. Listen to this and you'll understand why. So come on down, out on the town. Cause this is where a good time can be found. So bring along the old squeeze box, the fiddle and guitar. Let's have a good old man in Temple Bar. Nice, nice. That's singer Nathan Carter, whose latest tour brings him to the U.S. for the first time with a show in Pittsburgh tomorrow night. We are so glad to have Nathan here with us this morning, along with fellow Irish singer Chloe Agnew, formerly of Celtic Women. Welcome to Chloe and Nathan. Good Thanks morning. So much. Good morning. So, so good to have you. You guys started your tour earlier in September. How's it been being in the United States? It's been great. Yeah, we've done two weeks now and we've got another week left um, and it's just flown by. We've been very lucky. Some of the shows have been sold out, which I never expected for my first time here. Um, and um, delighted to be coming to Pittsburgh. We arrived last night and uh, we traveled for 12 hours from, where did we come from? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> starts, I'm sure being on tour, it starts to get all jumbled together, it doesn't does. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. city every day. So. It's a big country. Speaking Wisconsin. of cities, Wisconsin. Oh, you're in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Milwaukee. Oh, so. Uh, indeed. And Wisconsin Dells, actually, as well. Uh, yeah, I know where yeah. the Dells is. And our Bucks, our Pirates, were playing the, the Brewers, the Milwaukee ah. Brewers, just last night. Lost yeah. to them again. Um, anyway, uh, I mentioned a moment ago that I have Irish roots. My family, my mother's family, comes from County Tyrone. Fantastic. And and you guys are from close by there, right? Or you live there now? I live about 20 minutes from there in, in Fram County Fermanagh, which is the next mm -hmm. county to Tyrone, mm -hmm. in Northern Ireland, whereas Chloe is I'm Dublin. A I'm a Dublin girl. Right. She's a dub. A Born and bred. Somebody has to represent so Dublin here. Pro <laughs> pro Protestant, Catholic? Oh, gosh. We're both we don't, Catholics. We don't, we don't even <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I asked you in the break, you, you don't really declare yourself as a country singer, but it's like folk, Celtic. Yeah, how, well, how do you how I, do you say that? So sort of some of the records I released in Ireland um, have gone into the country charts, into the mainstream charts, but it, right. it would be known as country. Uh, well, where do you think country music came from? Well, this is it. The right. banjos, Irish music. Banjos, fiddles, accordions. Absolutely. It all stems from uh, Celtic music. But we, do, I, we feature a lot of folk and Celtic music in our show. Uh, Kelty, uh, like Kelty, was <laughs> Chloe, from, <laughs> Chloe was originally uh, part of Celtic Woman for 10 yes. years. Yeah, yeah. So um, I do some Celtic Woman songs in the show. And yeah. We're very proud to feature music from our, our country. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing to see the reaction it gets every night here. The, the, the American and the Irish audiences are so connected. It's great. Well, there's so many people who have Irish roots. Indeed. Right. And it's then those who don't just want to be Irish. Right. <laughs> right. So we're pretty proud of that. <laughs> you just missed our Irish Fest last weekend. Yeah. Ah, no way. Yeah, that's right. The time it better next it's a time. Big one. Yeah. So, uh, how do you get your inspiration for your songs? Do you write them yourselves? Yeah, I've written a lot of songs sort of over the last few albums, um, which I feature that one there, Temple Bar, which I played. That's one of the songs I've, I've written. Um, but uh, you started young, didn't you? I started playing the accordion at. Um, the age I was five when I started playing, wow. and I've just gradually got worse every year. You know? No, stop it. <laughs> the but, squeeze uh, box. The I squeeze mean, box. It's as big as you are almost. Yeah, when yeah. you were five. Well, when I was uh, very young, you might you could get a small one, but then yeah. it gradually just you get, get get bigger and bigger. You know. So who who were your influences, Nathan? Who who's your favorite singer? Um, well, I suppose country music. I love the likes of Garth Brooks and um, Dolly Parton, all them sort mm -hmm. of Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. um, but then you Good know, ones. closer to home, we would have a lot of folk singers and um, a good friend of mine is Daniel O'Donnell as well who's been a big influence and a big support to me since I started out uh, sort of seven or eight years ago with my band um, and Daniel's done a lot of stuff all over America you know so um, yeah a lot of different influences and um, I just love singing love entertaining love performing so did your family sing were your parents in a church choir where'd the music come from um, well my nan uh, is uh, my granny is mm -hmm. one of uh, 12 children and uh, all her family sort of sang and played music and would have been very stooped in Irish sort of music and dancing and yes. uh, my nan's like 78 this in the next couple of months and oh, she bless. still goes out Kaylee dancing and Irish <laughs> dancing. And, so um, Good for her. You know, so she, she keeps, she's great. She kind of can't escape it at home. Everybody no. either sings or dances or plays an instrument. It's, it's yeah. bred into us from a very young It is young a musical age. race, is Indeed, it not? Yeah. Sure. This yeah. is true. So how did the two of you team up? 
Um, well, I was part of Celtic Woman for, for almost 10 years on PBS television here and mm -hmm. Pittsburgh was always somewhere that we loved coming, passing right. through and, and visiting. Um, so when the opportunity came up for us to work together, I was a thrill to have a chance to, to perform with Nathan. I'm a, a big fan of what he does, so it's, we've been just having a great time on the road and the show is, is amazing. There's kind of something for everybody in it um, and, and you really see that when you see young kids coming with their parents and their grandparents and oh. everybody's there to have a good time. So. How long does the show last? It's a good two hours of music, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's an interval it in the middle. It doesn't feel like that, it flies yeah. by. Uh, we do uh, some big ballads that people will recognise, some old country classics, a lot of Irish songs, Celtic songs, and we mm -hmm. do some duets as well. And one of my favourites too, mm -hmm. you guys do uh, the old Crow Medicine Show song, Wagon Wheel, right? Yeah, well I... Which I, is now Darius Rucker, right. I guess, doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, over here it's quite funny because in, in Ireland, in the UK, I, I released that song about six years ago and uh, it went to the top of the charts for kind me. Of your anthems. Um, <laughs> so I yeah. would be really known for that song. And then like sort of after six months after I released it, Darius got it and he released it. And he made millions out of it. Oh, and I mean, he, did. Absolutely he killed nothing. with it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway. You got a move here then, huh? Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. I've heard you sing, and i be honest with you, I like your voice better than Darius <laughs> Rucker. Thanks very much. Stay with us, folks. we got a quick break, and then we'll be back with a live performance from Nathan Carter and his band. Stay right there.